150 days, 150 Psalms, one verse from each Psalm daily. Welcome to the place where you learn the Bible. I hope you are all doing well. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even today we are going to look at Psalm 59. Psalm 59 has a wonderful background because uh, every Psalm uh, talks in under what situation from which David uh, wrote. But this one Psalm differs not just from what situation but from where did David write this Psalm. Uh, when you look at the introduction of the Psalm, it is very clear David was sitting in his house. David, David was sitting in his house. Uh, Saul had sent his men to surround the house and the moment David steps out of the house to kill him. Uh, so uh, Saul's men are standing outside. They are completely surrounded and David was caught inside where there is no way to escape. At such a situation when he had no way to escape but he was caught up inside the storm, inside, inside his home, uh, David pens down the psalm as a lament and he prays it to God. So this was a psalm when David seemed locked on every side, when he was being oppressed of injustice. It was, uh, it was horrible. Under his in his home, under uh, being being completely surrounded by his enemies, David pens this psalm. That's why he starts like this: "Deliver me from my enemies and set me securely on highway from those who rise up against me." Lord, I cannot even open these doors. So he says, "Lord, deliver me and set me securely on the highway from those." Who rise up against me? So it is a, it is a, it is a, it is a, it is this this is the background of the psalm. So this Psalm fifty two to fifty nine is a, is actually a group of psalms where David talks how much uh, great injustice and oppression he suffered. He talks about abuse of power when you read Psalm fifty two and fifty nine. If possible, you try to read Psalm 52 to 59 in one sitting and see how, what are the kinds of struggles that David went through. So in, in, in these Psalms from 52 to 59, he talks about the abuse of power that was against him, how Saul was abusing his power. Uh, he was talking about the false accusations. He was talking about betrayals. He was talking about bribery and corruption. We looked at, we looked at yesterday in Psalm 58. We looked, then he talks about oppression. He talks about violence. And even talks about how there is a constant threat to his life so just like the other psalms even this psalm begins with a talk to god he asks god look at verse 4 he talks to god lord arouse yourself arouse yourself look at verse 5 he says to god lord awake yourself awake yourself and then look at verse 8 he says lord you will laugh at them lord you scoff at them you scoff at them and today for our core verse I have chosen verse 9. After asking God to arouse himself, to awake himself, to laugh at the, at the enemies who have surrounded his house, then he looks at God in verse 9 and he says like this, O oh my strength, I will watch for you. O oh God, you are my fortress. In other words, he says like this, Lord, this house is not my fortress. This house is not my stronghold, but you are my stronghold. The message version says like this, strong God, I am watching you do it. I can always count on you. The Amplified says, oh my strength, I will watch and give heed to you. For you are, God is my defense. Dearly beloved, there are some situations where we might feel, where, 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 we, where we might feel, where we are locked in, just like how David did, completely surrounded. When there is nothing that we can do, just stay indoors. There is nothing that you can do. There is an angel of death roaming outside. That was how people in Exodus chapter 12 and 13 felt. Israelites were locked in. There is an angel of death roaming outside. You just stay indoors. There is nothing that you can do. What do I do when the enemy is there watching outside? What do I do when I have to keep my windows shut? When my doors locked, I, can, I cannot even pop my head to get a good feel of air. What, what can Noah's do when they are put up in an ark and when the Lord shuts them in? Just stay indoors and watch for the strength of the Lord. To act on their behalf. That is what here David says. Oh my strength. You are my strength. 
I will watch for you. And this house, this ark, this boat, this ministry, it is not my fortress, Lord, but you are my fortress. You are my stronghold. You are my refuge. Daily beloved, what is your strength? What is your stronghold? What is your refuge? What is your fortress? Is it God or is it something else? If it is with God, even if Saul has his entire army surrounded, completely surrounded you, I'll tell you, God will surely bring you out and make you a king. May God your strength, may God your stronghold, may God your fortress, may God your refuge, let, may, let, may God alone be our hope. Amen. Stay blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank you.